Now this is a song that I played yesterday, but now I have uh, Rob to join me with it, so we're going to do it with him. Uh, I wrote this song as a reflection of what it was like growing up as a young woman in Judaism. And uh, we were not uh, overly religious at home. I would describe it as medium Jew. Uh, but the synagogue that we went to was orthodox, and that means that we had gender segregation. And you had to sit upstairs as a woman, and the men would sit downstairs. And as a woman, you're not allowed to participate in leading the service. A woman's voice in orthodox Judaism is not allowed to be heard unaccompanied because it's too arousing, which is true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, in Orthodox Judaism, women and men aren't allowed to touch each other. So a uh, family rabbi would greet my father, shake his hand, greet my brother, shake his hand, and hello, Shelley. With some nice rabbis, you could do air high fives. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, the school that I went to was a, a Jewish day school. And it wasn't as religious, it wasn't as Orthodox as the synagogue that we went to, but still you're getting pretty strong messages about what it means to be a woman. When every morning prayer, we would say from primary school, the boys and girls would have a call and response where the boys would say in Hebrew, Dear God, thank you for not making me a woman. And we would answer back, Dear God, thank you for making me what I am. <laughs> and uh, so, so this song talks about my experiences as a young woman in Judaism and also uh, what the other Abrahamic traditions and their liturgy use to describe women's roles. And, and it's ex explained to me a lot that these differences and the way that we're treated is not because we're lesser, but because we're different. But different is still defined. And I will not be defined by my gender. And this song is called Eve. Bible tells me I was made for and from man and I must do for him everything that I can I must surrender to his will I must submit I can't make the household decisions cause I am unfit it tells me my place with everlasting grace. The Bible tells me I must be silent. You can't hear my voice. My role has been divinely defined, and I have no other choice. I I may not be a teacher of man I must cover up my shame These are the laws of the one who in vain I cannot name He tells me my pain tells me that I am unclean. I am impure, you cannot touch me. And it has nothing to do with where I've been. It is part of who I am. It is because I corrupt man. I was asking for it just by being a woman. He tells me my place.
which I may not return. The Bible tells me I was made for and from man. Now I must do for him everything that I can. I must surrender to his will. I must submit. I can't make the household decisions because I am unfit. Tells me my place. With everlasting grace. Tells me my place with everlasting grace. Thank you so much.